I'm Nick Topley, I'm the Sub-Dean for Operations of the Medical School. I'm also in charge of core facilities, so my remit extends from looking after the operation of the medical school in terms of the administrative support for research, but I'm also in charge of uh, facilities policy and provision of core facilities to support research output. We do research across the whole patch, but we're particularly strong, you know, internationally competitive as it's termed in the areas of cancer, neuroscience and mental health, primary care, cardiovascular disease and infection and immunity. Those are our core strengths, although clearly we cover other areas which are more applied, including wound healing. As you know, CBS was, was, was created really to serve the academic community primarily, and that's still our primary focus, to provide facilities to increase academic output. But really, to be successful, it has to be a, a mixed economy, because if we can use those same facilities to support industrial collaboration, that obviously it makes them more sustainable and, and, and more successful and gives us more scope for development. So we've been, I think, fairly proactive over the past few years in, in developing collaboration and partnership with industry. So it's no longer a, some of it is provider business, but in many cases it's collaborative research projects with industry where the benefit is seen to be mutual, although, and that allows us really to support uh, you know, better core facilities, but also to support far more translational research projects linked with particular areas of industry. Twenty years ago, we would be interacting with industry purely in terms of uh, asking asking for things from them to aid us in our research. We're more we're much more focused now on having an interaction with them where, where they see mutual benefit. They're not going to invest in us unless they see benefit from the relationship. And I think it's important now that when we're, we're fashioning relationships that the benefit is mutual and that you know, they, we, we have to understand as academia that in working with industry side by side there has to be something in it for both of us. And that allows us, that, that, that has a number of significant synergies both in terms of the direction that research takes and how, translat how translatable it is because the reality is that you know, we can take things in a pipeline so far, but without industrial partnership, we can't take it all the way to a therapy. If you take central biotechnology services as an example, we will be working with anything from small SMEs up to big pharma. So we have various levels of relationships, some of which is service provision, some of which is collaborative projects, and some of which is, is, is our, our, our developmental areas. So, for example, we're working with, with a big multinational pharmaceutical company in a particular area, which is, which is new to them, it's new to us, but it's actually academically very active. And that there you can see, clearly see the benefit both for them and for us in those types of relationships. So, you know, in a sense, we are open to business for all types of, uh, types of companies, as long as it's seen to be mutually beneficial. Uh, and, and in fact, the reality is that you know, the university sector needs to be sustainable, needs to understand the financial reality within which we work. And that means that we have to work and do some service provision business if we are to remain competitive.